You made it. Hey, it's good to see you too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> oh, shut up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry-ass bastard, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... Look, so let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers now? Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? There aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. Is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Cause you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The one. If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? <clears throat> See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Lawan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. Inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Cool. <laughs> Wonder if it works. Our mixtape. Hmm. <laughs> this is I'm not like the little one I know. <sighs> A 
guy's boots? Did you find them yet? I'm sorry. I, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope? You're not looking hard enough. There's another room, behind the plywood. Luan? <laughs> you look almost... almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Do you still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hack on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. I figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or... Did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars.
Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear, it seemed close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Cygnus. She... what, miss? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks... Within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. It's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. But I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now, yeah. good night, Eden. You there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. 
might want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. on Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I, I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Jari place. You get it? That's why we have to find Matt Pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? With those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, It'll boost the signal, and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now, the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old Night Runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe about eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him, bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself, 
can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. You mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out, plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material. But he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bolted, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's yeah, true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Lawan before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to, I promise. Hey, Frank. That's, uh, that's way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake. Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. Aiden, the colonel seems to be evacuating renegade camps. First, the electricity, then central loop rates. Now this. It seems that Williams doesn't want to fight any more than we do. Or he really intends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation would we need to expand the range to find out more. Frank, 
I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting at Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking over and out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Luan. I'll be in touch. was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! I think so. Yeah. Waltz wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Lawan too. Why do you think he knows anything about Lawan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. What do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runner special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Um, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. 
We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had to focus on mental and emotional strength, not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important, but it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Aiden? Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. He's still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! Quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. And to take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs>
Hakan! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! Right, Hakon. Killian, Frank, Luan. Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Your nine lives are up, Aiden! I'm sorry, Hakon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. We'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon. Talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back, but I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. Come any closer, and I'll have no choice, Hakon. How's this for an old man? You won't win. What?
You... you killed him? <sighs> it's what you wanted. After all this time hunting him, he's finally dead. Thought I'd be looking him straight in the eye before I put a bolt through it. But now... <sighs> He's just another body on the ground and a name checked off my list. Are you okay, Luan? I... can't even begin to know how to feel about this. He seems so... vulnerable now. Can I help you with anything, or...? No, it's okay. I've just... waited so long for this to end, and now... <sighs> I need to be alone for a while. Frank? Where are you being, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. What about Hakon? There was no saving him, Frank. I see. Come to the canteen, Aiden. We'll talk. I've got some news for you. I'm the boss. So, yeah, I should how did it... He left me no choice, Frank. I see. I guess it was inevitable. Miserable bastard. Hakon, you bastard. I'm this close to drinking again because of you for all the good times and bad. But I'm not going backwards. I'm not gonna fall down that hole again. Yeah. Sleep well, friend. I've contacted some of the Night Runners, Aiden. Those who are still alive. Killian should be here anytime soon. But Killian from Old Villador? Same one. Speaking of old Villador, you have to get to the bazaar, Aiden. She's waiting for you. Waiting for me? Who? The GRE doctor Waltz is probably after. When you mentioned the bazaar, I was able to get in touch with her. She can help you find Mia. Her name is Veronica Ryan. I remember her. She's one of the first people I met after I came to the city. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. You'll find us somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good luck, Aiden, with everything. Time for you to go, Aiden. Thank you.